Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a question in from a viewer. The heading of this email is A72 versus A6500. This is in from Billy. He says, hi, I'm looking to buy one of these cameras, the A72 or the A6500, to be used for event photography and a bit for video. I know that the A6500 is better for video, but I'm wondering if the fact that an A72 is full frame might help for event photography and portraits, especially with low light capabilities. I'm upgrading from the Nikon D3300. I don't have a big budget for lenses, so I'd start with a 50 f1.8 if I got the full frame, whereas I'd go the Sigma 30 f1.4 if I was to get the A6500. The pricing of the A6500 and A72 are exactly the same where I live for body only. Thanks, Billy. Well, thanks for your question, Billy. And uh, interesting question. I, the, my first thought is if you could at all squeeze the extra budget and I would just step straight into an A7 III and then you've got arguably one of the best cameras out there, one of the best value cameras out there, and you're not going to need to look at any upgrades. I'm assuming that your budget doesn't uh, allow for that and it's probably probably about twice the price of what you can afford based on those two cameras you're looking at, the a7 II and the 6500. Event photography and a bit of video. That's the tough thing because you have to weigh how much the video is important to you. How, how, what weight of importance do you give to the video? How much video are you going to be shooting? Because obviously you're right, the a6500 is going to be a be better video machine. The a7 II is going to be a little bit better. Um, it's full frame, a little cleaner, bigger sensor. Uh, so it's going to be better for portraits and the events, for the actual shooting of the photography. So better photography camera, the a7 II. Better video camera, the a6500. Uh, and the thing is, is the a6500 is still a very good uh, performing crop sensor. It's still very good for low light. Not as good, I'd say, as the A7 II. Obviously, it's full frame. It's probably a stop or two difference. But you got to weigh that. Your video needs versus do you need that extra low light? I mean, actually, for me, I would put a 50 F1.8 on the A6500 and you got a uh, effective field of view of 75 millimeters with the crop, the 1.5 crop. You got essentially a, a very close to an 85 millimeter F1.8 portrait lens, which is one of my favorite lenses for portraits. Uh, and that's our traditional portrait lens is an 85 mil, whether you get an F1.8 or an F1.4 or whatever. Um, that would be uh, probably the route I would go because the video is very important to me. But again, I think if it was me, what I would look to do is find the budget for the a7 III. Then I got my video covered. I've got an even better performing photo camera. And that's probably what I would try and do. If I couldn't find the budget, I would probably go a6500 for now. Shoot that for a while until I had the budget for an a7 III or perhaps even an a7R III if you could find one at a good price. Because you can get those refurbed and used and whatnot. It's amazing the prices I've seen them at. That's what I would do. Um... Let me throw it back to our viewers. What do you guys think? Uh, what should Billy do? A72, A6500. Uh, well, what should he do and why? Remember, we need to know uh, how much video weighs in. Does that influence your opinion of what he should do as well? Let me know in the comments below. Let's help out Billy. Always great to hear back from you guys. Round out the opinions. Give our viewers more to think about when they're about to make a purchasing decision. Uh, sometimes you guys mention stuff I hadn't thought of. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. Thanks for your question, Billy. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.